My name is Christy Hajela. I'm the assistant curator at the Crocker Art Museum and the in-house curator for Turn the Page, the first 10 years of High Fructose. High Fructose is a contemporary art magazine that features artists from alternative and underground scenes, but also well-established artists. They feature di very different subjects and have different influences, and the one unifying thread among them is that they've all been featured in High Fructose some, at some point within the first decade. One of the artists featured in the exhibition is Mark Dean Becca. His installation, Maddest Hatter, greets visitors as they first walk into the high fructose space on the third floor. And there are many themes that run throughout the artworks in this exhibition. Some of them allude to storytelling and narrative, um, children's books. Others are influenced by anime, graphic design, and illustration. And then some of them have an environmental message. Mark Ryden is often known as the godfather of pop surrealism uh, for his work that includes a surrealist element and has got a dreamlike quality, but also incorporates pop icons, things like Abraham Lincoln, Barbie, um, and other familiar faces. Kahinda Wiley is known for doing very large scale, heroic portraits of contemporary uh, figures, often who are African American, and then he expanded into his World Series and did portraits of local people that he found. Beth Kavanagh is one of the ceramic artists in the exhibition, and she does ceramic sculptures of animals, often which are anthropomorphized and have human-like features or gestures and body movements um, so that we recognize parts of ourselves in them. This exhibit provides visitors with the really extraordinary opportunity to see some of the newest artists and trends in contemporary art, and we hope that our visitors will come and enjoy it.